welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at applications of calculus to the physical world. Projectile motion in particular, this is a, a particular problem called the, the birdie problem where the bird actually flies off the top of a pole. Um, this one is actually flying horizontally at a speed of 15 meters a second. Um, we may look at one where he actually flies at an angle off the top of the pole, but basically the soccer ball is kicked so that you're trying, we're aiming at the, the bird at the top of the pole, but as uh, you kick the ball, the bird flies off. Uh, and uh, you can see here, it's a few uh, bits about it reaching uh, double the height of the pole in, in its descent touches the bird. Okay, find the horizontal component of the velocity. So the first thing we always do is draw up a little diagram. So I think the best thing, yeah, okay, is just draw a little diagram. Okay, what's happening? Okay, let's have a put a pole. Okay, out here somewhere. Here's the bird, the bird's sitting on top of the pole. Okay, and what happens? Well, we really uh, we're basically going flying over here. As we come down, okay, the bird flies across here. We actually touch the bird here. Now, so let's actually make a couple of things. One is a, I'll just um, let the flagpole be height A. Uh, okay, so obviously over here it's also A. Uh, it actually on its maximum height, it actually reaches height of 2a, so a and a. Okay, uh, we know that it's being uh, sent off at a velocity v, uh, which we don't actually know, and the angle, as we know, you can see angle alpha, okay, here, uh, we don't know that either. But uh, Now, we are going to assume a few things now. The first thing is that, what are these distances? So I'm just going to, okay, we don't know how far this is, so let's actually call the first distance b. Okay, I'm just going to call this one. Okay, call that B. Uh, okay, we're just running off the edge, the bottom of the page there. Uh, and let's actually just call these. Okay, this bit here. D and D. Okay. Okay, D and D. So they're equally equidistance because we know the symmetry of, a, of the projectile motion. Okay. Uh, I'll just put a few things in here. Well, okay, the origin obviously is here, down here is, this, this is the x. Okay, so I think we should actually start now and say, look, what actually do we know? Well, we know obviously the bird and the, the uh, uh, they collide over here. Okay, there's a collision over here. Now, you can see that the bird is actually uh, flying off the top here, going in this direction. Okay, you can see here at uh, 15 meters per second. And you can see that... The bird travels 2D and the projectile travels uh, 2D plus B. So I think, uh, but basically they have to have the same time. They have to arrive here at the same time. So the time here has to be the same, but they travel different distances. So basically, let's actually write that in. So it's a, okay, the same time to arrive at the point. Let's actually call it, uh, what, uh, B plus 2D. B plus 2D, and its height is A. Okay, same time, okay, and you can see, obviously, the bird travels 2D, so the bird, bird's distance, uh, uh, 2D, uh, and you can see here the actual uh, soccer ball, the ball, okay, is traveling, okay, you can see here, uh, two, 2D plus B, okay. 2D plus B. Right. Okay, so this is a situation. We know the, the time, so we're going to have to find out the time. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll just quickly uh, derive the equations, and you can see here um, we want the, basically to uh, work out, okay, the times when Y is equal to A, and how would we do that? Well, hopefully we know now that, uh, obviously, this is a Y expression, and we just equate that to A. Okay, so let's actually start doing that. So, Okay, so the times when y is equal to a. Okay, obviously that's uh, what we're after from the diagram. Okay, so um, so the first thing is obviously uh, you just let a okay equal minus five t squared plus v t okay sine alpha. Okay, um, if we form the uh, Quadratic, okay, we end up getting what, um, what is it, uh, is that 5t squared minus vt sine alpha, okay, 
uh, is plus a is equal to zero. Okay, so we need the times now. So we can obviously solve this for t. Uh, okay, what is t? Um, okay, uh, let's have a look. What is t? t is equal to minus b. Okay, so it's uh, what? v sine alpha plus or minus, okay, plus or minus the square root of, okay, b squared, okay, so which is v squared sine squared alpha minus 4 times a times c. So a is actually 5, so it's uh, minus 4 fives so at 20. So it's minus, okay, 20a all over 2 fives, which are 10. Okay, this is, so these are the times, actually, if you like, uh, when the y value is a, okay, so that's when the bird flies across, uh, actually is travelling at a above the ground anyway, uh, and the, when the actual soccer ball comes down and tries to touch the ball, or collides with the ball, if you like. Okay, so we need to work out, uh, okay, this, we're actually uh, pretty much on the way now, so um, what else do we know about um, this problem? Well, we know it actually uh, reaches a height of 2a, okay, when y dot is equal to 0. So it actually, at maximum height, so we also know at max height, okay, we know that y dot is equal to 0. Uh, and we also know there that actually its height, y, is actually equal to 2a. Okay. So let's equate y dot to zero. Uh, what do we? If we have equate, if we equate y dot to zero, we'll get what? Uh, Ten t is equal to v sine alpha. Okay. Um, all right, uh, and we end up we're getting a, a time. Okay, so the time would be what? Uh, v sine alpha on ten. Okay, and then we just substitute that into the y expression, uh, and we know that's equal to uh, 2a at that particular time. Okay, okay well, so let's see. Uh, so we know 2a. 2a is equal to minus 5t, t squared. Okay, t squared is going to be what? Uh, v squared sine squared alpha on now 10 squared, 100. Okay, that's uh, plus vt. Uh, so it's v sine alpha times t, so it's what? v squared sine alpha times sine alpha is sine squared alpha on 10. Okay, so eventually we'll find an expression for a. Uh, let's have a quick look. That's uh, minus 20. So, okay, so uh, okay, let's have a look. If we just do this in our head quickly, we've got a v squared sine squared alpha minus uh, 20 and plus a tenth. Okay, so we have what? 2a is equal to uh, what uh, v uh, squared sine squared alpha on 20, therefore, uh, if you like, a is equal to v squared sine squared alpha on 40. Now, okay, this a, you can see here, okay, so basically what we need to do is we need to get this a and plug it in over here. Okay, so we need to substitute that a now into there and try and simplify our time. Okay, so we're going to do that next. Well, okay, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to substitute a uh, into this expression. Uh, you can see here, so we're going to substitute it in here. Uh, that's where we're going to put it in, okay, and try and get a time expression for when y is equal to a. Okay, so um, let's actually try this. So we know that uh, obviously t is equal to v sine alpha, okay, plus or minus, now the square root of this, okay, v squared sine squared alpha minus 20 lots of a, okay, which is v squared sine squared alpha on 40, okay, and you can see that obviously that 20 will go twice, okay, it's still all over 10, and hopefully we can see that t is going to equal v sine alpha, plus or minus. Now, we've got v squared minus a half of v squared, so we actually have v sine alpha on root 2. Okay, and it's still all over 10, actually. So it's all over 10 here. Okay, so we can simplify this. Uh, and let's have a look. What does it simplify to? Uh, uh, so v sine alpha And 
there's going to be a factor here. Was it uh, root two? Uh, we're going to have to. Uh, okay, I think it's just going to be two. Eventually, when you have, uh, there'll be a plus or minus root uh, two on twenty. Okay, so this is the time. Uh, okay, uh, for the ball uh, to actually uh, reach a height of uh, a, and obviously the ball, uh, the actual bird is actually uh, at a height of a as well. So we're going to be uh, using this as well with the bird. Uh, well, because this is a reasonably complicated problem, I just thought I would uh, just have a quick look at the summary so far. So what's happened is actually we've done a few things. We've actually, uh, if you have a quick look here, y dot zero up here. Uh, we've actually got a time, uh, okay, for that to occur. You can see here. Uh, we equated that to 2a, okay, and got an expression for a, okay. Now, we've got an expression for a, which we substituted in here, for general time expression, and we actually have a time now over here uh, for uh, our uh, y position to be actually at a. So you can see here, that that's over here, obviously the plus case, and the minus case is here. Okay, so we've got the time. So we now have the times, okay, to be at height A, and the birdie is going to be at height A, so we're going to be using this fact shortly. Well, if we look at the, uh, the question, you see that w what we're actually after is uh, V cos alpha. Now, as you know, uh, X is equal to VT cos alpha, so this is actually equal to what? Okay, X on time. Now, the time, this is a tricky bit, uh, the bird actually will take uh, V sine alpha 2 plus root 2 on 20 to get to over here. Okay, so the bird's taking, bird's taking the same distance to get to there, so it's going across here, uh, as the, the soccer ball does to get to there. So those two times are the same, and you can see here, they are actually this expression here. This is the time it has taken, obviously, the positive, we're taking the positive case. Okay, so... Um, so they are the times. So all we need to do now is look at uh, the displacements. Okay, and um, first up, what, you, what is the displacement? Well, uh, we know that, uh, okay, B plus D. What is B plus D? Well, B plus D here, you can see B plus D is actually, what, what is the displacement? Well, okay, here, here it is over there. Okay, that's displacement. Okay, and how about... Uh, well, what about the bird? Well, the bird is travelling at 15 metres a second. Okay, so if you like, okay, so the bird is uh, let's actually, okay, okay, so the bird is here and it's travelling across here at you can see here uh, 15 metres per second, and obviously in time t he would travel 15 t. So his displacement obviously uh, 15 t. Now what t? Well, let's cover that distance in the same. Uh, time it has taken the ball to get to that uh, height a, which is you can see here v sine alpha 2 plus root 2 on 20. So we now have to sort of try and put all this together. And so we'd have, so if, if you like, we can actually, uh, we know that we know, okay, b plus d, so we can go b plus d, and then we can just halve this displacement. So we know the displacement x on 2 would be what? Uh, x on 2 would be what? 15 on 2t, and we can just add on that. So we can, so these are the total displacements, okay, for uh, v cos alpha is equal to x on t. So the x's are going to be those two parts uh, added together. So let's actually just uh, add those two bits together. Okay, so uh, first step, okay, let's uh, start adding them together. Okay, so, okay, so this is the actual uh, distance the total distance, actually, uh, which is, you can see here, really it's uh, b plus 2d, okay, so, and um, on the time, okay, over the time taken, okay, and uh, so, so we have what, uh, v cos alpha, and that's going to equal, okay, uh, let's have a look, what, the first part, okay, so you can see here, it's going to be v squared sine alpha cos alpha on 10, okay, uh, then we are going to have to add in the uh, distance travelled by the bird. Now the bird is going to travel, what, 7.5t, so it's going to be, if you like, um, 7.5 lots of the time, which 
you can see the time. I'm not going to be able to fit it in there. Uh, time it's taken to get to A. Okay, and, and we have to divide that by uh, T, uh, okay, which is again that uh, time it's taken to get there, T A. So we're going to have to try and simplify this expression. Okay. Well, okay, I've just rewritten this V cos alpha as uh, the ex uh, well, expression with the distances over the time. And you can see we can straight away simplify uh, a few things. Uh, v sine alpha will go. Uh, we have a sine alpha and one of the Vs will go. Okay, we've got, um, now we've got a lot of fractions. If we multiply everything by 20, okay, we'll get, uh, what will happen? Um, if we multiply everything by 20, we get, um, uh, what do we get here? Uh, 2V cos alpha. Now we have, uh, what, 60 over 8, okay, we get uh, 7.5, lots of uh, 2 plus root 2. And all over, you can see here, it's just uh, 2 plus root 2. Now we have to multiply that by both sides, and we end up getting what? And take it over, so let's have a quick look. What would we get? Uh, v cos alpha, which is already there, times 1. Okay, uh, but we have to multiply by this expression, 2 plus root 2 on the denominator, and we have to take off 2 coming from uh, here. Okay, well, that part there, if we move it across, you can see it'll be a minus 2, and that will just leave us with, uh, what, uh, equaling 7.5, lots of 2 plus root 2. Now, we're getting very close to the answer now, and you can see here, obviously, the 2's cancel here as well. Uh, okay, we just divide that by root 2. So, we should have an expression for V cos alpha. Okay, uh, as, okay, uh, let's just rub this out, uh, have a quick look. Okay, so V cos alpha now. Uh, when we simplify all this, okay, you can just see uh, it's going to be, okay, okay, so it's going to be what? Uh, 7.5, uh, 2 plus root 2 uh, over root 2. Okay, and this is actually works out to be about 12.803 uh, 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 meters per second. So it's, say 12.08 uh, say meters per second, uh, this is uh, two, 2 dp. Okay, and this is what we wanted to actually. We find the horizontal component of the velocity of the soccer ball. Okay, well, thank you for watching. This is a fairly uh, long pro uh, and quite involved uh, uh, problem in projectile motion. Bye for now.